anti-Afro Spengalis. We're going to talk about the social security situation. I'm going to revisit the situation. I'm not going to stop talking about the situation. It doesn't matter what effort is undertaken to try to steer me away or get my attention with other bullshit that's irrelevant. I'm going to still talk about it. I have every right to talk about it. These were crimes perpetrated against innocent people because you had someone who simply could not handle being denied something that she wanted that was completely and totally unreasonable. Yes, I'm talking about Mona De Leon, the social security bandit. So when she didn't get what she wanted, she ran off and started committing criminal offenses and brought others in the mix. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let you hear a remix, give some feedback about the information being brought into his live stream. And then at one point I'm going to come back in and provide a point of clarity based on some feedback that was given. So stay tuned and I will return. Talk about what we're talking about now. Y'all know I how I rock. Say, Hi Mona, just know when that report come through, I was one of the main people to find Real out. Real shit, bro. I'm not with all that, bro. Y'all be on that, y'all niggas be on that goofy shit, bro. I'm not so, on that, bro. I told y'all oh. niggas to address what's going on in my life. Don't come to my life talking about other folks, nigga. I'm just calling out their uh, hypocrisy, though. Like them niggas supposed to be making video like, nah, Mona, you can't even come to, like you, you doxing niggas social security numbers. Like, come on now. I guess, you know, everything is coming out now where like, you know, somebody worked at a certain place and got information. And apparently, apparently from what it looks like to me, it looks like she been doing this shit. Exactly, but, she has. But I explained, I said, how did this information even come out? And you know, it, it's vague, but you know, the what more and more info. What'd he say? No, nah, he just says something like, uh, cause I asked him, was it proven that somebody actually got somebody social? And it was just, you know, well, that's what people were saying. But when you look at like some of these emails and some of these community posts and shit, it looks like it's been going on. It looks like, it's, you know what I'm saying? But then it's like, it's like, okay, so if you knew somebody was breaking the law way back then, why are you saying it now when it's being done to you? Okay, so I need to address this statement. It's very interesting, ironic, and hypocritical coming from TCTV. These are the only types of emails that are going to be coming from us in response to anybody suggesting, encouraging, disclosing anything illegal. We're going to have a redirection to the legal side of things. Why do you think Mona only came out with one email? Cause she doesn't have anything. Just like what TCTV said, when he wholeheartedly supported, encouraged and laughed when Rev G's wife's photo was blasted on his channel, his response was that's public information. That's not doxing. Well, the information on let me see your handcuffs came straight from the Harris County courthouse. So the difference is Mona stole the information directly from the social security system, brought it to others, violated federal law, her co-conspirators, and they together in their own form, reposted that private information here on YouTube. After having stole the information, there was no stealing of information from the Harris County courthouse. And let me see your handcuffs information was not posted on YouTube. It was redacted. Leave it to TCTV to try to spin some bullshit. And he has a lot of freaking nerve because he's set up there on live streams anywhere from four to 11 hours while criminal behavior was perpetrated on his platform. Yes, that was you TCTV. In the emails, here's another email I'm deciding to disclose or where Mona said she's not working at Social Security. If you're not working at Social Security, how can there be collusion with us involving Mona doing whatever she said she was gonna do? Reiterating, she was repeatedly told not to do it. This is not something you should be doing. The fact that she's hard-headed, that's not my issue. Mona worked at some other place in New York. I didn't work at this agency. You can do a Google search and find this. She worked there. She's the one that was going into people's records and came and told me after the fact and was met with the same response, the exact same response 
about putting yourself at risk. You should not be engaging in this behavior. You can get in serious trouble. Those are the only responses that she got. Unlike you, TCTV, you sat around and just completely got all involved in all the bullshit, all the harassment, all the, the bullshit, all the harassment, all the insisting heterosexual black men were on the DL and having affairs with gay men. You were into that. You got all into it. Mona was steered away from non-law abiding behavior. The fact that she decides to go back and jump into it, or that's what she always was doing, that's on Mona. That's got nothing to do with me, AFW, friends or supporters. None whatsoever. We don't have any connection to these agencies that she was working for. Mona did what she did on her own. We are in the clear. There's nothing you could ever say that would change the tide or make anything different than what it is. It's the plain, simple reality. Mona did what she did entirely on her own until she decided to bring in the co-conspirators. She brought other criminals into the mix. Mona did that on her own. It has nothing to do with me, AFW, Rev G, friends or supporters. But since you're so adamant, TCTV, about getting somebody that was working in collusion with Mona and wanted Mona to get medical records, why don't you check in with King Kong Crazy? I have those emails where Mona said King Kong Crazy was begging her to get him someone's medical records. If I said the name, everybody would know who the person is. There's where you want to go and ask some questions. Why don't you go ask King Kong Crazy if he begged Mona for the records? Why don't you go and ask her? Wasn't she trying to get a hold of you? Wasn't she trying to meet up with you somewhere when she was on the East Coast? That kind of conduct is 100% unrelated to anything that AFW does. We remain on the right side of the law. Please continue to listen to the discussion that occurred on Remix's panel as to the social security crimes. Do not touch that dial after you hear buyer beware. Because if we, if we gonna start allowing people to come in this section and dox and fucking social security numbers, bro, that's some, but don't you know a motherfucker could claim you on their taxes? Don't you know what all kind of shit a motherfucker do if they got your social security number? And I I don't even give a, bro, this is not even about Shaquem. This is about all of us. So we're going to allow somebody that got access to social security numbers to come in our sector and don't nobody talk about it? Don't nobody sweep it up under the rug? I mean, everybody sweep it under the rug like it ain't heaven? No, nah, the poison ain't going for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I ain't going for that. Yeah, see, cause cause God, I don't want to be like that much. You know what I'm saying? When I know motherfuckers out here, cause guess what? Them federal offenses, dumbasses. Federal offenses, fucking with niggas, social security numbers and all this type of shit. This shit don't went too far. For her to be like people jealous of Mona, baby girl, you is out of motherfucking pocket thinking that. Why would somebody be jealous of Mona? Mona ain't got nothing nobody wants in life. Especially not me. I got a family. So what Mona got that I ain't got? What the fuck? Like, I don't want her life. But at this point, it's above the sector now. It don't even matter what the sector think. It don't matter what the sector report on or don't report on. Somebody in trouble. They could they could key, key, key. They could make jokes about it. They could post on their little walls. They could do whatever they want to do. But I've seen this happen firsthand in my sector. And I saw what happened to the people that did this in my sector, and it was not taken lightly. And motherfuckers did get arrested. It didn't happen. Thanks. It didn't happen the day of. It didn't happen on our timeline. I remember we was pissed off. We was tight. Shit was moving slow. But they got thoroughly investigating. They gotta make sure, you know, whatever. But we was they was able to figure out a lot of shit. And it was very interesting to see how it all went down, but it did go down. It didn't happen on our timeline, but it did happen. Um, so Bitches could think shit's sweet if they want to, but it's not. Um, and I'm taking it very seriously. You if you try to breach my data or you breach my data, I'm definitely pressing down on you. Um, I'm not yeah. going to do a thousand and one videos and arguing and all that back and forth. Nope, we're going to take this above the sector and just let it do what it do. I mean, Mona told me something this morning. I'm like, whoa, the fuck? I'm like, okay, you know, so it's been going on. So, but mm. it is what it is, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. Social security numbers, man. But for dudes that sit up here and they be trying to take the uh like the high road and say they so like even drama, 
I would even expect it more from drama, like to be like, nah, that shit ain't cool though. I don't like what's going, but I ain't cool. But see, you ain't see drama making no video, cause guess what? Mona is cash apping him and goddamn uh Santa God. So they not gonna say nothing. As long as they keep getting the support from her, they ain't gonna say nothing because they don't stand on nothing. Unless it's time for them to stand on something. You know what I'm saying? I guarantee them niggas might make a video about me, but they won't even make a video about her. Still a nigga social security numbers. Mm. Facts. That's crazy, Facts. man. That's that's crazy, man. That's crazy. Like, how but, can y'all you know. allow a woman to come in our sector doing this type of shit? This woman, this woman ain't even part of this sector. Like, she just, I mean, you know what? You know what? I would want. I would want to hear from KKC now, because I, I wonder exactly. what was that. I what really was that do. infiltration? What was that infiltration name? You know what I'm saying? Is it is it connected to this, or was it? You know what I'm saying? Like, how much do he know? Exactly. Like, was he was he a part of people? Uh, social security numbers getting put out there? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I I would like to know if he knew about that. <laughs> Cause they was used to be out in the group chat together. I got screenshots and everything. And then uh to confirm with uh Shaquem, his show last night, that is Mona uh email address. Cause I got an Damn. email from Mona before. That is Mona Damn. email address. Hey, Damn. let me see your transcripts. Her, her social security number was exposed to. Hey, look, yeah, look, what we not gonna that. do, what we not gonna do, we ain't gonna change the narrative of who we talking about. Now right. understand y'all can but point yeah, out they, other people did. Say they did this, did that, whatever. Okay, but nigga, we talking about what I'm talking about on this show. If you're not gonna address what I'm talking about, just stop coming and talking about other people because that shit really goofy, bro. And I fuck with Kay Kadora, but bro, I'm not with the goofy shit today, bro. I'm really not with the goofy shit. I'm not with the oh they did it oh 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 no, nigga, talk about what we talking about now. Just cause y'all in love with Mona, bro. I don't give a fuck about that, nigga. Y'all know I how I rock, say, bro. I don't give a fuck her. about that. Hi, Mona. Just know when that report come through, I was one of the main people to file. Real so shit, I... bro. I'm not with all that, bro. Y'all be on that. Go- y'all niggas be on that goofy shit, bro. I'm not so, on that, bro. I told y'all uh, niggas to address what's going on in my life. Don't come to my life talking about other folks, nigga. We ain't talking about anti-Afro. This ain't no anti-Afro show. All you got to do is reach out to Social Security, let them know that your data has been breached and that you feel that your identity has been stolen by an employee. And believe me, they're going to take that shit serious. They're not going to take that as a joke. They're not going to play with you. They they going to want all the information that you have. They're going to want all the receipts. Um, I know quite a few people have went down, or I went in person. I know a couple other people went in person. Um, cause I wanted answers cause my data has been breached before. So I wanted answers and I wanted to make sure, you know, what was what, and they did confirm that yes, somebody had been in my shit. And because I haven't filed for any type of, uh, social security, I'm not up for any redeterminations or anything like that for social security. Whoever accessed me had no reason to be accessing my data if I haven't called in for any reason. And you and me, I can't even call in. I have to go in person because my shit has been breached before. So I'm telling y'all now, if you feel like your data been breached, if you feel like she feel like you are op or even not an op, I don't trust her. If you even communicate with her, best believe your information been looked up. And I don't believe it was a drinking buddy because no drinking buddy is digging on that many people going all the way back to the 80s. No one's doing that for someone. They're just not. I think that that's a cover story. I think it's a narrative. And that's fine. Like, you do whatever you feel you need to do, baby girl. If that's what you feel you need to do and you feel like you want to stalk people and steal their data and start... For all I know, you over here commit espionage. For all I know, you over here trying to sell our data to foreigners. I don't know. You claim you in and out the country. How I know you ain't trying to put little kids' names in our... With our shit, trying to bring babies over mm. here, trying to bring grown-ass people. We don't know what you're mm. doing. You could be over Big here dead ass trying to sell our identity to people. I don't know, but I'm taking that type of shit serious. I made sure to let them know everything that I knew about the broad. Um, I let them know. I gave them the clip of first time I'm going to get her kids birth certificates. Why? Bitch? Trying to sell our identities? You trying to sell us? Like, what are you trying to do? Like, I have so many questions. So, Shorty ain't never going to have a clearance fucking, fucking around because 
You can't go around doing shit like that. And all this old, ain't nobody breached nobody's social. You're lying like a motherfucker because I have confirmed that Facts. mine has been breached. And two, y'all have too much data on people. You're not just getting that data on the internet. You're just not. Because if it was true, then everybody would have already had that data prior. People would have known where anti worked prior. People would have known where Shaquem worked. So all this other hooting and hollering, y'all not doing that. And I went ahead and made sure to let ACS know what the fuck was going on, just in case somebody trying to play with my kids, trying to sell their identities, trying to fraud, put fraud claims in on me. And then I made sure to follow up with Social Security. We're going to cover all motherfucking bases around here because y'all tripping. Like, it ain't nothing that deep on this internet that you out here doing shit like that, that you would put your freedom at risk. Like, for, for some clicks and some likes and for some attention from motherfuckers that don't even really like you. That's wild to me. And they don't like her, and she don't understand that. <laughs> rest of these motherfuckers, they just want her to cash up and do everything. Like, come on, man, stop. This, this shit is becoming to be a joke. Like, I made this live to be direct. If y'all ain't gonna count Simona, and we enemies. That's how it's yep. going to be. I'm not coming to your channels. I'm going to make videos about you. I'm going to talk about you every time I go live because get what you don't stand on nothing. Because when that shit happen to you, I don't want to hear no motherfucking crying. I'm going to laugh when it happened to you. No, nah, that's real shit, though. Like, I don't know. All I know is motherfuckers is crazy as hell. And y'all out here, it's one thing if you get in data on people legally, fine, whatever. But once you start breaking into systems, but it's very clear that she worked for social security or maybe she knows somebody that worked there, but whoever did it, somebody in trouble. That's all I'm saying. But I'm saying that if we can't, if we can't stand on something that in this sector, like what, what, what do you stand on? Sometimes bro, shit just be out of hand, bro. I can't sit back and keep letting motherfucker like that shit put my shit at risk. These motherfucker know my whole name. The bitch can go tap in and get my social security number. Yeah, I feel a certain type of way. Now, y'all wallin' though. Like, it ain't nothing that's happening out here that's that deep that y'all need to be out here stealing people's socials, accessing credit reports, accessing credit scores, accessing people's work history. Like, y'all wallin'. It ain't nothing that deep that's happening on these streets that you would do something like that. And it's stupid. So, again... If you feel like your data has been breached, y'all might want to go ahead and do what you need to do. Because once somebody steal your identity, it's over. It's hard as fuck to come back from that. It's a lot. I of guarantee. Money. I guarantee. Drama ain't gonna say nothing but hit me up behind the scenes so I can help you do some content. Yeah, that's what he gonna do. Sign the God ain't gonna say shit long as people keep on supporting his fucking channel to boot people off his channel. Long as he keep getting money to smoke and sit in a car and talk shit. Like, bro, these dudes don't stand on nothing, nigga. I stand on something, nigga. And yeah, nigga, I don't even like, fuck with Shaq okay, Kim like that. But I ain't even about Shaq Kim. It's always cool when to with some motherfucker. Exactly. And my this thing shit ain't even about Shaq Kim. Bringing them stupid as fuck if they think that Mona ain't got their information too. Let's talk about it. They got they real minds and they supporting her. You if you dumb as fuck, if you think that now y'all wallin' though, like it ain't nothing that's happening out here that's that deep that y'all need to be out here stealing people's socials, accessing credit reports, accessing credit scores, accessing people's work history. Like y'all wallin'. It ain't nothing that deep that's happening on these streets that you would do something like that. And it's stupid. So again. If you feel like your data has been breached, y'all might want to go ahead and do what you need to do. Because once somebody steal your identity, it's over. It's hard as fuck to come back from that. It's a lot. I guarantee. Money. I guarantee. Drama ain't gonna say nothing but hit me up behind the scenes so I can help you do some content. Yeah, that's what he gonna do. Sign the God ain't gonna say shit long as people keep on supporting his fucking channel to boot people off his channel. Long as he keep getting money to smoke and sit in a car and talk shit. Like, bro, these dudes don't stand on nothing, nigga. I stand on something, nigga. And yeah, nigga, I don't even like, fuck with Shaq okay, like that, but I ain't even cool about Shaq Kim. It's always cool when it's some motherfucker. Exactly. And my this shit ain't even about Shaq Kim. Bringing them stupid as fuck if they think that Mona ain't got their information too. Let's talk about it. They got they real minds and they supporting her. You, if you dumb as fuck, if you think that they ain't looked you up to. Right. Fact. Best believe she did. Just just because you think you cool with her don't mean shit because she was allegedly cool with anti and here she was pulling anti shit. 
Yeah, and anti ain't do nothing but try to help the bitch. The only reason let's she keep it was like, let's keep it 100. The only real reason why Mona felt some type of way was because anti Afro wouldn't publicly ostracize me. She wanted anti Afro. Let's all right, let's keep it a real being. The real reason is, is that Mona wanted the in crowd. She wanted to be cool with me, Triggs, and Star when we was all rocking together. And when we weren't really fucking with that, she started going behind the scenes, going to anti, trying to get anti to turn on us. But anti wouldn't do it because we ain't never did shit to anti. And from there, she decided, well, let me go ahead and be a vengeful little bitch and go get a job and try to access their data and fuck with them. Let's talk about it. That's really why she mad. I've been saying it from day one. And everybody that was passing that information around, quiet as kept, when that shit was happening in my sector, they was able to find out that the shit was getting transferred to transcripts. That's how transcripts got a visit from the cops. And transcripts admitted that she got a visit from the feds. She said she got a visit from them. She was tight. Breaking in them got the feds at my job. I, I, I. Yeah, because they found out that the motherfucking emails was getting sent to her ass. So they got a way to find that shit. Don't think that they can't find out what they going to find out. You could joke and you could key, 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 key all you want. But this shit is above the sector now. Sector opinion no longer matters. Man, exactly. Like, this shit, man, y'all tapping in people's social security numbers, bro. This... If people don't start banning Mona, don't even come to my channel no more. I'm gonna make it a square. Hell if you support no. Mona, if you support Mona, don't even unsubscribe right now. Like, please, bro. I don't, I don't want that around me, bro. Cause y'all don't stand for shit. If it was anybody else doing that shit, y'all would be making tons of videos. Yep. Tons of videos. If I was doing this shit, if fucking Shaquem was doing this shit, if one of the ones that they, Stargate, if it was somebody that they ain't like was doing this type of shit, they'd be ah, 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 all up in the wrong. But you know, it don't even matter at this point. It don't matter who make content, who don't make content. All I know this is the that you were sharing hey, that this information the around, that's on you. 